the mystery Babylon as actually a worship to Satan. If you don't want to belong to this particular thing, you have the choice. Revelations chapter 17, the woman on the beast. The woman is that particular religion and the beast is the governing system that she has. Okay, and she is called the mystery Babylon, the mother of harlots. And please forgive me if you are part of this particular uh, system. Okay, I am not targeting any belief system. Okay, this is, this is plain Bible study. I don't want to offend anybody. My intention is not to offend anybody because I have friends in every religion, in every belief system, but I do not want to hurt anybody. This is my humble request, please. Uh, do not be offended if you are uh, if you realize that this particular system is the thing that you belong to but god says god is beckoning you to come out of that so we have come so close to identifying who or what this particular war is about okay here in verse uh, 4 it says the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold, precious stones and pearls. Verse 5 says, She is the mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and the abominations of the earth. So she is the abomination, a spiritual abomination. Babylon is a symbol of religious system and the worship of Satan. Okay, and she is called the mother of all harlots. Okay, and harlot means a symbolically uh, a religious thing, a spiritual uh, mingling with other things. Okay, the spiritual things that mingles with everything else. So that is a spiritual mingling, you can say. So that is the uh, that is a symbology. And she says in verse nine, God says, uh, "Here is the mind which hath wisdom." So you need a little bit of wisdom to know who she is. The seven heads are seven mountains. If you have known history, the only city. The only place, a very powerful thing that is set up on seven mountains is the city of Rome. From Rome, you have the Roman Catholic system, the papacy, the papacy, which has always been accused of by all reformers. Christian reformers have accused this papacy of doing so many different things against the will of God, against God or against Christ you can say, you can say anti-Christian or anti-Christ, okay. So this is the kind of thing, this Roman Catholicism or the papacy is what God is trying to indicate in this passage. In, in Revelation chapter 17, the woman on the beast, the woman is that particular religion and the beast is the governing system that she has. Okay, and she is called the mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots. And if you, if you know a little bit of history, if you know a little bit of Babylon and religion, you can clearly know that this Roman Catholicism who worships Mother Mary is not actually worshipping the Mary, mother of Jesus Christ. Because the Mary, mother of Jesus Christ is not a deity. She has died. Okay, she is like the rest of the saints, she needs salvation through Jesus Christ himself because he is the eternal word which came from heaven and he has shed his life, he has given his blood for ransom for our sins and she needs it. Mary, the mother of Jesus herself, needs this blood for salvation. She cannot be a deity, she cannot ascend to heaven or do some uh, magical thing from heaven. She is resting just like everybody for the resurrection. Okay, but this particular Mary that this particular uh, religion is coming up with is actually Semiramis of Babylon. Semiramis is a queen which ruled Babylon in the ancient times. And this Semiramis is what they are portraying as Mary, the mother of Jesus. So this particular system is called the Babylon, the mystery Babylon, the mother of harlots and the abominations of the earth. So if you uh, think that you are worshipping Mary or you are praying to Mary or uh, you are worshipping infant Jesus or the Joseph who is the father of Jesus, please 
understand this is not actually what they really mean they know in the higher ups they understand that this is not actually mary this is the divine mother which is which is called several different names in different civilizations it all started in babylon it started in babylon and in babylon it is called semiramis god is asking you if you belong to this particular mystery babylon system you have the option to come out of it come out and reach out to god he has died for your sins we are born in this world with sin our soul is born with a corrupt spirit and we need redemption and this redemption only comes from the blood of jesus christ the eternal word which came in flesh okay and he has died as a lamb a sacrificial lamb he is the sacrificial lamb and he was sacrificed for each one of us for me and for you and he is ready he is waiting to receive you okay he is ready to give you eternal life if only you make up your mind to believe in him to trust him leave everything away and he is going to give you joy happiness and everything that you really want